So, another podcast couch talk uh, with the Astra Clan and one of the Astra Clan finest, Daisy Diva. Hi. <laughs> awesome <laughs> sauce. As well as a new guy, Don Lamas. But you're not new to the scene, though, right? No, not new to the scene. Um, but very much looking forward to uh, getting to the table. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're just going to have a little conversation here. And talk about a few different things before you two um, talk in a different kind of language, so to speak, <laughs> right? Um, oh, there's already some, some followers just hitting here. So just watch this, followers, and uh, there'll probably be an uns uh, unsolicited link that uh, you can see wherever they go to after the conversation, all right? Uh, in the description, if you're going to be looking at YouTube, their Twitters will be in the description as well as uh, where you can get to their OnlyFans as well. Um, where the content that they film after the conversation will be distributed as well as the unsolicited uh, not safe for work link. Anyway, back to what we're doing here. The adult star in the adult world. The P-O-R-N, porn. Um, why don't you both talk about how y'all got into it, why you're in it. Um, and please, you know, try not to get a woody in front of everybody just because you're beside <laughs> a hot chick. Hard. <laughs> Very hard. <laughs> I understand. It could be very hard. I understand. She's she's quite the sight, you know, to to bestow. But um, both of you, just uh, why the adult world? Why uh, what you get out of it, and um, what really just gets you going? Yeah, so I need to go first. Oh, ladies first. Because <laughs> <laughs> y'all are just getting y'all are just getting you know nice and uh, pre play right. before the main yeah. event. Right. Uh, so I entered the adult entertainment world because I was doing print modeling and then I got contact to center the industry and I thought that that would be very fun. So I went ahead and jumped in and here we are and I was right. It's been very fun. I get to meet all sorts of different people and travel all over. So like what more could I possibly want? Uh, <clears throat> for me, it's, uh, it's always been a fantasy. Like every guy in the world trying right, um, to do porn. Um, and uh, I just reached a point, like especially during the pandemic, where I realized, you know, how little time we have left on this planet, how short, short life is, and, uh, you know, I just wanted to... Um, Why are you talking about little time and short life? <laughs> we had to have a good time, damn I it. I'm Donald and like, Debbie Downing. So, uh, I reached a point where I was just... And I'm Mr. Flores. You heard my voice before, so you know who I am. Yeah. I just reached a point where I was like, fuck it, YOLO, you know, um, I'm going to take the plunge. So I did, and uh, I've been having a blast, and uh, don't regret it yeah. for a second. Yeah. Interesting. So now you're not talking about the end of the world. Now you're saying don't regret it and have a blast when I raise my voice at you. <laughs> Punk bitch. Anyway, everybody watching. So here's one question that really stumps some people, or sometimes it, you get different answers. Does being in the adult world really mix with your traditional sense of relationships? Or do you have to have a, a specific special type of relationship based on what you do, how you do it, the number of bodies, the body after body after body? You know, what is it? You know, talk about that. Talk to each other about that. So that's an interesting question. Um, I don't think it's really changed my values in terms of relationships. Um, the reason I'm having a difficult time answering this question is because I've not been in a real relationship since I've started this. Not necessarily because of this, I don't think. Um, it just hasn't happened. So, I don't really know how to answer that really. What yeah, I've kind of been the same boat. Like, yeah. I haven't really had a relationship since I started shooting porn. Um, in terms of, like, sex, I find that <clears throat> I tend to not have as much sex as I do outside of porn. Just right? Yeah. Um, That's actually I true for me, too. I look at it like... You know, Risky why enough. do it if I'm not going to make money? <laughs> like yeah, if, yeah. if I can make money out of it, like, yeah. you know, I may as well save it for that. So um, that's kind of where I'm at at this point. Yeah, um, so fun. So it's kind of decreased my normal sex life, but... Um, Wait, you're saying that being in porn has decreased your normal sex life? Is it because you're so used to getting tested, making sure people are tested that you... Mixed bodies with, and um, then when you yeah. just out and about, you get the bolder now, and you meet someone you don't know, right? Yeah, well, or whatever. There's that, but then it's also just like, why have sex with this person when I can have sex with 
something like this and make Daisy D make money off of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you yeah. go. So. You know that's why the government hates the adult world because you know you can make money doing something that you love. They just rather you go to a nine to five and just be. Oh, I hate this fucking place. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up. Favorite positions. What turns you on? What gets you going? What sends you over the top? What stay away from? You know, I mean, you know, I guess if you if a finger in the booty makes you feel funny, you say. You say <laughs> so I think that Dom and I, we were talking about this earlier, and we actually have the same favorite position, which is probably not a surprise to most of you. It's definitely doggy. Um, for me as a female, it hits all the right spots, and I'm easier. It's easier for me to come that way. So I prefer that there's just something about. Not to mention, let's be honest. <clears throat> What I really love about doggy is like when the balls are like slapping my clit. Oh, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. very much the same boat. Um, well, you're in the same boat. She so like balls hitting you. Oh, uh, that, <laughs> you're you bet. You got jokes. No, no, no. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, 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 yeah, hey, 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 I love Holy balls thing. hitting my clip. Um, maybe if I had a clip, maybe. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, uh, <laughs> um, doggy just feels the best on my cock. Um, I love being able to on your on your meat on my meat. Sorry yeah. about that, guy. Yeah, this kind of yeah. Yeah. Um, well, she said clip, so yeah. I kind of like took her lead, but um, <laughs> um and uh, I just I love like being able to like you know just grab onto her. And, just have complete control. Yes. And, um, it's just, it's fucking hot. So. Yes, it is. I agree wholeheartedly. That's what's up. Yes. That's what's up. So, uh, so that, that's favorite position. What, which one's, um, tell me this. What has been some of the craziest, um, uh, spots that you've been in? And also not only spots that you've been in or done something in, but in terms of your, your careers, what are some of the hottest people you've worked with? No, I'm not saying you have to give a shout out to them, but you know, just giving respect. Um, some of the places, some of the travels, the people are curious more than anything. Uh, for me, it's probably Lexi Nicole. Um, she goes by Fine Wine Gal um, on Twitter. Um, she's a swinger couple with her and her husband Gio. We shot a movie together. Um, just incredibly gorgeous, beautiful. Um, like this one here. Um, super hot. Um, had sex in like some really strange places. Um, I would say, um, I had sex with a pole dancer once and she like really had some tricks that <laughs> I've never seen did. before. Um, it was almost like being like a contortionist, but, um, so that was pretty interesting. What like? Um, Hmm, this is hard for me. I would say the most well-known person that I think that I've had sex with is Isaiah Maxwell. We had a lot of fun together at our scene together. Um, and one of the craziest places that I think that I've had sex was not in the porn world, um, but it was in the middle of a lake on a sea dew. Oh, well. <laughs> that doesn't fall out there. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No, we did not. Um, cool. But it was really fun because it just kind of rocks you into the position. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can see that. It was yeah. fun. <laughs> it nice. was super arousing and like kind of like, oh my goodness, can anybody see what's happening? Right, right. <laughs> you like public stuff? Yeah. You do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Where else have you done? Um, I've done it like in like a swingers club all sorts of outdoors one of my least favorite places though to have sex i would say is a car though yeah i think that's like super overrated yeah, not agree. my thing it's like super cramped yeah uh, i'm like i don't <laughs> i dislike it so much like i don't even want to get handsy in the car yeah <laughs> <laughs> like, no i'm gonna go with you i think it's um it's super uncomfortable. It's just not a, not sexy at all. It's not. It's not. It's yeah. just kind of like, oh. But like, like the all... only way that it could like be sexy is like if you're using the car as a prop, like yeah. outside of the car. Oh, yeah. Like even if you put like the seat back, it's like, so, so yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> not my jam. Right. What your D O M L L A? Yeah. So first name Dom D O M. No Twitter D O M L L A M A S X X X. Oh. That's what it is. Got it. I think you missed one of my paper. 
Oh, I did? Yeah. No, well, so my IG is just two, two X's. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's two L's, D-O-M-L-L-A-M-A-S, triple X, everyone. L-L-A-M-A-S. Cool. Okay. That's what's up. I sent you the link, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I sent you the link. Yeah, that's what's up. So anyway, continuing on. Um, what are some of your no's? Because everybody has a no list, like what to stay away from, right? What does somebody knows? Uh, so one of mine is is I don't I don't do you know. Um, but another one that maybe surprised people is I um I break my jaw three times, so I don't do like face slapping. Um, that's a big no for me because my jaw is still recovering from the last time. Well, yeah. Um, the usual, no blood, no shit. No piss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stay away from those. <laughs> um, just not into like you know, water sports at all. Um, uh, yeah, not really into like hurting women too much either. Like talking about like the face slapping thing. Like a little bit of like choking, slapping is cool. Yeah, totally. Like, not just into like the degrading me, just women like just because I have too much respect for them. So. Mm. It's unfortunate for some girls like me. Yeah. Some of us really like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, a little bit of spanking too. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of spanking or a lot of bit of spanking? Uh, we'll see. Really? When we wrap up this interview, we'll see. That's right. <laughs> so, okay. So, anyway, um, by the way, if you're in YouTube, there's a link tree. It says, uh, if you touch it, what does it say? Un, um, unsolicited, uncensored. If you touch down censored, you go to where you can see not only uh, what they do, but also uh, if you follow them along, you may see some of their scene page and, and follow them. And um, as they uh, have shot with the floors as well as some other things like that. All right. Um, anyway, back to what we're talking about here: um, relationships, the adult world, what gets you off, favorite positions. Um, Actually, you know, I have a question. Um, if you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? I think that's one of the questions that it's like people get so entrenched in in this in this you know this this cycle, right? You know, it's almost like you're on a treadmill that won't ever turn off. You know, and you never and you never get off that treadmill. It's just it's a constant it's a constant um, race, right? It's yeah. a journey. But if you weren't doing this. What would you really, what are you, what are you doing? What would you do? Um, if I could go back and do everything over again, I'd probably be in film school. Okay. Um, probably do some sort of film school, <clears throat> either like producing, directing, that sort of thing. So, um, but like cinema, not porn. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with porn, obviously. But, um, either that or um, I've always really enjoyed working with animals, so maybe do something with animals. Yeah. Animals? Animals, yeah. Animals. Uh, so if I was not doing this, what would I be doing? Um, don't actually want to answer that question based on what I would do. Um, but one of the things that I would do as a hobby would be breeding my animals. Nice. Breeding them? Yes. She said breeding, yes. She <laughs> said breeding. <laughs> she went there. <laughs> she, that's what you call it. <laughs> What else are you gonna call it? <laughs> it's the Re technical, technical it's, term. I, I'm gonna repopulate my animals. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Repopulate. <laughs> yeah. That sounds so freaking Pro bad. I'm just saying, exactly. I'm just saying, saying, saying. repopulating. We're gonna repopulate animals. <laughs> it's like, fuck Noah's art, man. We just create our own. <laughs> the repopulation. Uh, it's the repopulation that they're signing in, in Philadelphia here. Oh, uh, right. anyway. The constitution of repopulation. Yeah. So are we talking like dog breeding or? Yeah, and cats. And, and cats. Yeah. Wow. So I have bred dogs. I'm getting ready to breed my Maine Coons. I'm very excited about it. I've got two lovely Maine Coons, but I've got to wait another two cycles for my female before I start breeding her. So I'm really excited. Nice. Yeah. What kind of cats do you breed? They're Maine Coons. Oh, those. Okay. Yeah, they're the big fluffy ones. Okay. Like the really big ones. Right. I thought you were talking about dogs for a sec. No, so I have a Persian, but uh, I don't breed her. She's yeah. um super cute and fluffy. And then my main coon, my male, is only a year and a half. 
and he's probably without his tail, his body is probably this long. Yeah, wow. And then he's got his tail, and his tail is like a swiffer. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I love it. Like my, his tail is like my favorite part. Yeah, they like shed everywhere. Uh, I had a fluffy cat once, and like literally, like hair everywhere. <laughs> oh, so I don't know. I have so many animals that I vacuum regularly, yeah. so I'm not really sure whose is where. Okay. Um, but I mean, I would say they definitely shed seasonally. So like right. during the summer, when he's like losing his winter coat, like that would be his first yeah. like shedding. But I wouldn't say like I pick him up and hold him, and then I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say that happens when with my dogs. <laughs> right. Right. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. So um, anyway, um, one of the questions that somebody asked, I mean, it was a question they said, you know, you should really ask this question when you're talking to them. Like, have you all had an experience that was an out-of-body experience? You know, yeah, what is that? What, and if you haven't, just you haven't, you know, it's like, I, you know, we can probably strap you up and put some elect electrodes on your nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That'll give you that out body experience. Like, I've definitely had like surreal moments in life, but right. like nothing like where I felt out of my body, like looking in from the outside. Like, yeah. Nothing like that. I don't think I have either. I've had a lot of unique and maybe even like spiritual experiences but not yeah not like looking at my yeah. body doing something i don't think spiritual experiences like kanye west when he takes people up on the mountain is <laughs> 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 that what she's like spiritual experience that is that what we're talking about no not quite like that okay i just just want the people the people want the people the people want to know the so it's about the people know. exactly it's all about the people are. exactly because we're a restaurant <laughs> she went there. <laughs> God. Um, that's what's up. So, um, anybody who's catching this, whether you're catching the first four minutes, the first eight minutes, the first 10 to 12 minutes, or if you're catching us right now, right at the 17 minute mark, um, guess what's going to happen in about three to five minutes? They are going to take all this stuff that they've been talking, all this nasty stuff that they've been talking about, and they're going to. Yes. They're going to go some places here in this dope-ass uh, content house, and they're going to um, do some stuff that makes them sweat. They're going to get nasty. They're going to um, slobber, suck, bang, do it. You know, the meats. Um, they mentioned roof, doggy, um, and um, packages hitting and slapping and whatever. So we're not talking about UPS or FedEx. <laughs> UPS and FedEx can't don't have shit on the packages. It's going to be coming out right That's in the right. next three to four minutes. Um, but any last word before the destruction begins? Come watch us. Check us out. It's going to be hot. Yes, it is. How do they know it's going to be hot? Because. Just because you got a nice tan, you got muscles. Dude, look at this. You know what? Stand up, Daisy. <laughs> Daisy, stand up. Make look sure at you this. <laughs> turn, turn slow. Turn slow. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so if, uh, you know, if you're like me, the interviewer here, Mr. Flores69 is the Twitter, a.k.a. Mr. Flores, the hostess with the most is the guy that talks to shit while he films. That is quite a sight to uh to check out. And I don't know, you know, he's are you okay with it, bro? Um <laughs> He tried to calm it down, he's like, yo, I don't know, I don't want to just explode uh, before Yeah, you. I see like enough talking and uh ready for some yeah. action. The people want some action. Correct. The people Tune want in. To some action. <laughs> All right, so um last question before we before we jettison to uh places unknown is um who do you think is going to win this battle here? Oh, me for sure. This is a battle about to go down, y'all. Yeah. She feels she's going to win. Who do you um, I always defer to the woman. <laughs> oh, boo. I wish I had a boo. I just had a boo button. Where's my fucking but, uh, boo button? But it's going to be one hell of a fight. It's going to be one hell of a fight. fucking boo button, that motherfucker. <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah, Where's Spicy say, Jay? Uh, I can add a co-host. She would, will boo your ass for that. <laughs> I would say stay tuned, find out. That's right. Right here. Might be a tie. It's 28 seconds. The clock is ticking. They're about to do this thing. Yeah. Look at the intensity. Yeah, look we at ready. That. We ready. <laughs> okay. She ready. Is um, it so so why do you wear your hat you wear your hat to the back during sex too? No. You wear your socks? 
Um, He's not going to be allowed to. On or off? Off. <laughs> so, off. 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 Yeah. She okay. said off. Or yeah. maybe off. I think it's kind of weird when people are naked. But do you want? Do you also want to wear? Uh, wanted to wear a bow tie or, and nothing else? <laughs> We're gonna get it on that, everyone. I'm about an apron. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all hit the link. Unsolic uncensored. <laughs>